What's up, y'all? Welcome back or welcome to my channel. It is your girl, Tiffany, and this is my dynasty. So if you haven't yet, subscribe to your girl's channel. Go ahead, subscribe to your girl's channel. Come on, tap in with me. Let me know where you're from. Leave me some comments. Get, leave me some likes. I mean, let me know what's going on, man. It is me. I'm back at it. I'm back at it with another video for y'all. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to probably just hit y'all with a video once a week. I think I'm trying to overwhelm myself and trying to do too much by trying to record every day or every other day. So, just real realistic goals. I think I'm going to record on this channel once a week and on my other channel once a week just so i could get into the habit of retention of being consistent of being a mother and a girlfriend and a daughter and a, just a woman in society period trying to balance it all out so if you haven't yet read by the title of this video this is just seven different things you could do to maybe ask for help seek help Maybe you don't know how. Maybe you have too much pride. Maybe you feel like you could do it by yourself. And you just don't know where to turn, how to turn, or any of that good stuff. This video is for you. So go ahead. Do me a favor. Tap in with your girl. Take a seat. This video is not going to be too long. And I'm not going to disappoint you. Alright. Let's get to it. The first thing that's on my list, y'all, is just ask privately. Ask privately. Ask privately for your saying and ask privately for the other person sanity you get what i'm saying you never want to ask anybody in front of other people you never want to put anybody on blast you never want to make anybody feel bad because they didn't help you so figure out what you want figure out the person that you're going to ask pull them to the side and ask privately my best advice for this is not through text message Text message is the wrong thing through social media, DMs, emails to ask somebody for help. One on one, communication is the best way to seek help. Okay? Even a phone call. Hey, how you doing? Can I talk to you for a minute? This is what I need. Do you think you can help me? So that's the first thing that's on my list is just ask privately. Ask privately. That's it. Just ask privately. <laughs> Alright, All right, you guys. So the second thing that's on my list of seven things that can help you to ask for help. Alright, so the second thing is be specific on what you need help with. Don't nobody like any doubt words, if, can, like you don't know what you really need help with. Be Pacific, as specific as you can. If you need help with your kids and it's your mother that you need to ask, call moms. Hey moms. Hey, you think you, I need some help with these kids? Um, can you come over and help me? Um, yes, I need help with cooking, cleaning, bathing, and whooping. No, I'm just playing. But just ask for help privately. Be very specific on what you need help with. If you have doubts, of the help that you need, the person that you're asking will have doubts of helping you. So be specific, be confident. That's the second thing. I'm not gonna go more into that, but just like I said, be specific. Okay? Be specific on what you need. That's it. Just be specific. Alright. Alright, so the third and fourth thing is kind of gonna be well, it's just the third thing, but the third thing has more than one thing you could do. It's like together. But the third thing you could do is just don't over explain what you need. Give them the details, be specific, but don't over explain. Now, I know us women, us women, this is just for my women right now, we over explain. We over explain in text messages, we over explain at work, sometimes we over explain in our personal life, and sometimes we don't need to do that. Sometimes we don't need to over explain. Like, I don't need to over explain to you guys why my hair is halfway done and I'm doing a video. I don't need to do that. I don't need to over explain myself with anything. I'm grown, and the only person that I need to over explain myself to 
is God. You get what I'm saying? Or the judge. I don't I wouldn't even over explain myself to the police. Like you can charge me, but you can't convict me. So why would I oh, just over explain myself? I have come to a point in my life that is no need to over explain what you need in life. Be specific. Don't over explain it. Alright? That's the third thing, which actually was supposed to be part of the second. It could kind of go into the fourth, but hey, there's no order of how this is going. It is what it is. Don't over explain. Be specific. Ask personally. Yeah, all that good stuff. Alright? Alright. Okay, you guys. So, the fourth thing that's on your girl's list of things that make it help you, just ask for a little help. Piquito. Just a little bit of help, which everybody needs. Can't nobody do it alone. There's no such thing as self-made. Because anything you get, you're getting it from somebody else. Alright? So remember that. Just just, just remember that. So the fourth thing that you can do to help you ask for help is just have a list of people that you can ask. Have a list. Have a list of just people you can ask. Mom, dad, sister, brother, grandma, uncle, auntie, godmama. Just have a list. So if someone says no, or they don't have it, or they can't do it, you have someone else to ask. It's like the law of averages. When 10 doors shut, another a door is going to open. It might not be the 11th, it might not be the 12th. But one of them doors, if you keep opening, trying to open, it's going to open. Alright, so just have multiple people. You're not begging. Just have a list of people that you can ask for help. Use people for what they can help you for. You get what I'm saying? Like, I know my mom can't give me $1,000. I know that. Why would I call her and ask her for a thousand dollars just to first get rejected and say no I can't do it? So I could feel bad? Like first of all I put myself in that situation. Because I asked the wrong person for the wrong thing. That was not the right thing. Like I have a cousin that got a little bit of money. I asked her for a thousand dollars. Alright, so that's 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 number four. Alright, just have a list of people. That you could ask, you could ask for help, and sometimes it might not be family. Sometimes it might be a neighbor. Sometimes it might be a friend. Sometimes it might be your church. Just reach out, ask people for help. Multiple people. If you can't get it the first time, keep trying. Somebody is willing to help you. All right. So that's the fourth thing. All right, y'all. So the number fifteen that's on your girl's list of just seven different ways that you could ask for help. And this is for you personally. This is for the person who's asking for the help. And I want you to not let this go over your head. Okay? Because sometimes we could be our biggest enemy. Sometimes we could judge ourselves before anybody else can. And that's the that's that's the worst. So the number 15, y'all, is don't feel bad for asking for help. Don't let nobody let you feel bad. Don't you feel bad for asking. Alright? That's what God put us on this earth for us to help one another. Love thy neighbor. So, don't be ashamed. Don't be upset. Don't feel guilty. You get what I'm saying? Ask for help and ask for help with pride. Because you never know when you could pay it for it. When somebody needs your help. And you wouldn't want them to feel guilty. You wouldn't want them to feel ashamed because they needed help. So why would you feel guilty or ashamed for needing help? Don't. Don't, 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 don't. Be specific. Be personal. Have a list. Don't over explain. And. My God, my God, my God. Don't be upset. That you ask for help. Alright. I can't say it no better word than that. I can't put it backwards. I don't know another language to put it in. Um, I probably could say it in dummy. But I choose not to. So yeah. If I ask you for help. I'm not going to feel 
guilty or shame condemned that I asked you for help, I'm still gonna sleep at night. Alright? So yeah. I don't know if we on number five, number six. I, I don't know. My house is quiet. I got my my uh water fountain going. I'm in my serenity room slash YouTube slash fashion room. Did I mention I was by myself? I pray for peace and God put me by myself. Amen to that. Yeah, so let me go on and finish with this video. Alright. Alright, y'all. So your girl need to hurry up and go finish braiding her hair. I know it's gonna take me another two or three days to get these braids. Um, but I had to put this video up and I said if I wait two, three days from now, something else will be coming up. So, I just threw what I had in a ponytail and I said, let me do this video for my people. For all 36 of y'all. All 36 of y'all. Okay? So, the number 16, y'all, we are almost down to the end of this list. So, the number 16 is when you're asking for help. Be prepared to offer help. You know what I'm saying? Karma. The world is, is round. You get what you put out. You put out what you get. So, if you are steady, taking, 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 receiving, 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 but not giving, 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 oh yeah, baby, that's out of balance. That's way out of balance. If you have the right, the nerve, the courage to ask anybody for help, just be prepared to offer help to someone else. Be prepared for that. I mean, that's the only way you're going to receive your blessings. You give, you get. You take care of, God will take care of you. Trust me. I'm a testimony to that. So, this is the number 16, y'all. And it is, I mean, it's simple. You ask for help, you be prepared to offer help. I mean, that's, that's, that, I, that is just plain and simple. If I'm asking somebody for help and then two weeks later they call and ask me for help, but I don't have it in my mind to offer it or refuse, no good, man. No good. And there's so many of people like that. So many, take, 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 take. Take, 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 take. Yeah, I see you. I know who you is. God see you too. That's not good. No good. No good. All right, so that's the sixth thing, y'all, that's on your girl's list of just seven things you could do to ask for help. If you're dealing with kids, if you need advice on relationships, if you need anything, diapers, milk. I mean, I'll go across. I got one, two, three, four, five. All my neighbors I'm cool with, and I can knock on every door and probably ask for a cup of sugar. And if they was to come on my door, they could ask for a cup of sugar. You get what I'm saying? Be friendly. Be friendly. So that's number 16. I know I'm rambling on and on. Your girl could do that. That's why I'm about to start a podcast. Don't know when. Really don't know how, but this is in the works. All right? <laughs> so let's get to the number seven thing on my list. So the seventh thing that's on your girl's list, and this is the most important thing when asking for help. Most important thing. It's most important than being private. It's most important than asking and being pacific. This right here, y'all, this should actually be number one, but it wouldn't have made no sense. This is like, yeah, but anyways. The number seven thing that you can do when you're asking for help is just be thankful. Show gratitude. Don't be a spoiled brat. Don't walk around with a chip on your shoulder like the world owe you something. You get what I'm saying? If somebody helps you, even if they don't help you, even if you ask and they said, I don't have it or I can't do it or whatever, whatever people say these days, show gratitude. Thank you for trying. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Sometimes you might say, I hope you enjoy the rest of your life. I'm very sarcastic like that. That's what I would say. That's what I would do. That's probably why I don't ask for help too much. But yeah. <laughs> the number seven thing, man, is just show gratitude. Show appreciation. Show that you're thankful. I know too many people. 
in this world, like I said on the number 16, that just take, take, take. And then as they take and take and take it, take and take and take it, they don't show no appreciation, no gratitude. Like, who raised you? <laughs> like, who raised some of y'all? But yeah, so I'm done with this video, y'all. I am so done with this video. That is the seventh thing that's on my list. Stick around. I'm just going to give you guys a little tour of my Serenity Slash Zen room. Um, yeah.